Hello everyone and welcome to the IELD annual business update. My name is Christopher Knowlton and I am the Chief Executive Officer of the IELD and I'm joined today by our executive leadership team. Monica Lobo, our president based in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Douglas Leonard, our immediate past president based in Santiago, Chile. Brandon Thrasher, our treasurer based in San Francisco, USA. And Andrea Hartramp, our president-elect based near Washington, DC, USA. As 2022 draws to a close, we wanted to take this opportunity to give you an update on the IELD's activities and performance of 2022 and look forward to some of the exciting things we have coming in 2023. To get us started for her introduction, I will pass to Monica. Hi, everyone. Thank you, Christopher. In January this year, I started my two-year term as president of the IALD, taking over this role from Douglas Leonard, backed it up by the executive committee board staff and volunteers. Now in December, I'm pleased to be able to look back at 2022 and see the growth the organization made. All organizations required rapidly adapt and change in recent years. The pandemic accelerated many existing industry trends and offers the IALD an opportunity to renew and refresh. As the board and I start to think about the next one, five, ten years, it is clear that the impact of the pandemic and current economy outlook will have a substantial and tangible impact on IALD for many years to come. In 2019, IALD celebrated 50 years. We are now focusing on how IALD must evolve to meet the changing needs of our profession and to ensure the longevity of IALD for another 50 years. In 2023, we will be reaching out our members for consultation on the ways in which IALD can evolve to the best serve the community. 2022 was already a change for IALD. Internally, we saw the appointment of our new CEO, Christopher Noton, working full-time for IALD. Christopher's role is to implement the strategy set out by the board of directors, pushing IALD forward with the staff and volunteers. To tell us more some about the operations and administration of IELD, let me pass over to Christopher. This year has been a very significant year for the association. In 2019, the IELD had over 20 full-time staff members, and we have reduced this to a headcount of six highly skilled individuals. The team is responsible for marketing, communications, membership, administration, finance and events. Our full-time, fully remote team is now based in London, Chicago, Connecticut and Denver. And locally, the team is augmented by staff working in the UK, Australia and Japan. The IELD welcomed a new team member, Kia Hansen, to the role of marketing and communications specialist, replacing former IELD staff person, Kevin Wolfe. As we transition to 100% way of uh, working virtually, we've redefined the way in which we collaborate in a remote context. It requires a major overhaul of our internal systems. And while some of this work is complete, we still have much more work to do in 2023. This will deliver greater efficiency, transparency and cost reduction for the association. One of the main elements that we'll be working on in 23 is the new membership management database. Migrating to a totally new platform will provide members and staff with, new function, with a new functional platform and a way from which they can manage their membership, communications, events and administration. As part of this, we'll be replacing our current website. This is a first phase. And the new website will be a streamlined version of what we currently have, but built on contemporary architecture. This will enable us to increase our data security, increase usability of the site. It will also provide a strong foundation that allow us to develop the white website over coming years without being held back by the underlying platform architecture. Many of the efficiencies that we are seeking are important to building a strong foundation from which the association can grow in the future. 
To talk more about our financial performance, I'd like to introduce Brandon Thrasher, the IELD Treasurer. Thank you, Christopher. As reported in 2021, the pandemic has been challenging for ILD finances. As a third owner of Lightfair, ILD traditionally made a significant portion of revenue from the show. This, along with cancellations from all in-person events and other contractual obligations, the board worked quickly to reduce expenditures and keep the draw on reserves as minimum as possible. Through the pandemic, the ILD reduced its reserves by approximately 40% and has now been implementing long-term financial forecasting to ensure that reserves are well managed. In 2022, the ILD reduced expenses and received more revenue than projected. The pre-audit net position should be positive with no draw on reserves. As we look towards the future, the ILD still faces significant challenges. Lightfair is moving to a biennial cycle, meaning the association will not get any revenue from Lightfair every other year. The ILD Board of Directors is focused on developing new and diversified revenue streams, some of which will require investment to develop. 2023 is currently budgeted to be a deficit year, but Christopher, the staff, and the board are focused on returning the association back to a positive position as quickly as possible. To talk more about Lightfair, I'll pass it on to Douglas. Thank you. In 2022, Lightfair was in Las Vegas in June. The show attracted a lot of attention and it was great to see so many people in person again after a difficult couple of years through the pandemic. IALD, IAS, and IMC, the three owners of the show, met in person twice this year and virtually on a monthly basis as we plan for a renewed 2023 show. Before the pandemic, the decision was taken to move the East Coast show of Lightsburg back to New York City. This allowed for a co-location with the International Contemporary Furniture Fair, ICFF, at the Javits Center, and a partnership with the New York by Design. 23 will be the first year this location will happen, and we are very excited about the renewed design focus of the show. ILD has also taken an enhanced role in providing, improving the overall design quality of the show. We will be hosting a new type of forum space where our members can meet and share ideas. ILD members will be working with manufacturing partners to create a series of installations on the show floor, and we are excited to see so many of our LIRC members returning to the show next year. Another big change for Lightfer is the change in show cycle. From 2023 onwards, Lightfer will be every other year. This cadence will ensure the show is offset from light and building in Europe and responds to the changes in the industry. With a stronger and fresher show in 2023, we can't wait to see as many of you as possible in person in New York from 21 to 25th May 2023. Now I will pass it to Monica, who is going to give an update on ILD and Lighting. Thank you, Douglas. This year, of joining many of you at the Enlightened Conference in Palm Spring. It was great to see the community come together again and feel the energy of our community. In 2023, I'm excited to say that in, alongside Enlightened Americas, which will take place in Banff, Canada, IALD will also be returning to Europe. Enlightened Europe will take place in Berlin, Germany in June. The final dates and venue will be released shortly. Paper submissions are now open and I encourage as many of you as possible to apply to speak, especially our younger members who may not have been spoken before. This is a great opportunity to engage with your community and practice your presentation skills. We are also asking for workshop submissions on technical subjects as BIM, calculations, and use of software in lighting practice. For those of you able to attend the conference in person, I'm excited to tell you that we will also be making some of the content available after the conference to ensure as many people in our community can benefit from these activities as possible. To do that and to enhance our educational offering, 
I would like to take a moment to tell you about our new educational platform launching in 2023, the IALD Lighting Education Resource Network or LEARN will be a new platform connecting lighting designers with high quality education delivered online, hybrid and person. We will be revealing more information on the LEARN program to 2023 ahead of its launch. The board and I passionately believe that education and equal access is key to supporting our members across the globe. To tell us more about our across the globe, I will pass now to Christopher. It's been a busy year for our volunteer leaders across the globe. Planning, organising and delivering events locally takes a huge amount of effort from our regional and chapter coordinators. Because of you, the IELD community is greatly enriched and I personally want to thank each and every one of you for your dedicated effort. This year, IELD has run over 60 local events, including Chase the Dark, Designer by Designer, Lovers of Light, and Building Communities, to name just a few. ILD has also been fortunate enough to participate in the Lighting Symposium in Copenhagen, Frankfurt Light and Building, the Roland Conference, Light Fair, Enlighten Americas, and Light 22. It's been an action-packed year and 2023 is looking no less busy. Earlier this month, we announced the formation of our latest region in the Middle East. And I'll be traveling in Dubai, to, uh, sorry, in January to Dubai to celebrate the launch of the region with our existing and potential new members in the Middle East. Despite the challenges of the pandemic, there were over 180 award submissions in 2022. Thank you to all those who joined us online for the 2022 ILD Awards. We celebrated 22 award winners. The 2023 awards is still open, so don't forget to complete your submissions. 2022 also saw two new members inducted to College of Fellows. Congratulations to Ulrich Brandi and Steve Brown on their fellowship. Thank you for your commitment to the industry and the ILD. Two very well deserved awards of recognition. Now to the 2023 elections. As chair of the Nominations and Elections Committee, I am pleased to confirm that the elections closed earlier this year with a 33% voter participation electing. One president elect, Andrea Hancraft, who's joining us in this update, or Thresher, Brandon Thresher, was confirmed in his duty. Three directors at large, Brian Stacey, Jared Whitmore, and Susanna Antico. And two membership committee members, Ron Kurtz and Teal Brockton. Congratulations to the elected members and thanks to all the volunteers that participated as candidates or contributing with their votes. 2022 was a year of action for the LIRC, representing the critical link between lighting designers and our manufacturing partners. Participating on a wide range of committees this year, as well as spearheading initiatives such as Lovers of Light and supporting activities such as Enlighten and local events. This dedicated group has been active in developing the LinkedIn Cooperative, creating a space for designers and manufacturers to come together and share information. They are also finding new ways for support to support new ways for LIRC to support at a local level, expanding and strengthening their international presence. I know 2023 will be a great time for them to continue that work and build on the momentum that they have already achieved. Thank you, Christopher, Douglas, Brandon and Andrea for joining me today in this update. Andrea, welcome to the Executive Committee. I would like to invite you to introduce yourself to our members. Thanks, Monica. I'm thrilled to be able to continue service to the IALD, and I'm excited to contribute to the successful future of our profession. Thank you, Andrea. Very welcome. I look forward to seeing as many as you as possible in 2023 and to share with you more information of IALD progress in renewing and refreshing our association. Thank you. <laughs> 